Hi there, we're going to do the mint julep for you now. It's a drink introduced to the British by the Americans sometime in the early 1900s. It's a, it's a classic. It's often associated with the Kentucky Derby. Uh, the best findings I've got on it are from Gary Reagan's The Joy of Mixology. So we'll be following his recipe very closely. What it actually uses is bourbon, simple syrup, a few mint leaves, and for this you need several sprigs of mint, as many as you can afford really, just to give a real bouquet on the finished drink. What you want to do initially is just very, very lightly bruise these mint leaves with a little bit of simple syrup. I'm going to use 15 ml. I always use 15 ml. You might want to use 20, this is going to be a very, very potent drink. We can add more sugar syrup at the end. Now muddle those, I'm just going to use the end of my bar spoon. Bonza bar spoon comes in for all manner of things. Layering drinks, measuring your 5ml uh, of sugar, and then the end is a very nice light muddler for this drink. Just start the bleeding process of the mint, that's all you need. Add some crushed ice. You want very cold crushed ice for this because we want to really chill the drink down as much as possible. Then the bourbon. It's a good hefty whack traditionally with this drink. So let's stick that. So you have 50, 75. It's only a small julep glass, so that should be plenty. And then you want to stir down, keeping your hand really off. So you're not conducting any heat. This needs a good, good stir. Add the dilution, get the mint working through gently, and to frost up the outside of that glass. You can now add. Because this is a silver glass, it conducts beautifully, so it gets cold very, very quickly. I can almost feel the air around this getting incredibly cold. Now, there's a lovely story in the, in the book there talking about Bill Trapier and apparently he had gone to Oxford and they celebrate still the day he made his first julep at New College in Oxford, which is quite incredible. So if the Brits want some tenuous link with this cocktail, you can ignore the Kentucky Derby and actually celebrate the Trapier Day at New College Oxford. I'll put a bit more information in the article for you. So this is frosting up very, very nicely. Now, it's a good old stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see the glass turning to frost on the outside. Some people think this is probably what influenced the mojito. Again, it's speculation. History books are a little bit crossed over with various stories, so it's very hard to tell what came first. But it's very similar, and I, I prefer it. Um, it's very much more hedonistic because you're talking about just a belt of booze here rather than any lime juice diluting. So the beauty is this really is for those that want a good old adulterated drink and this is absolutely freezing now. You want to top that as always good crushed ice to keep it chill keep it presentable now for the mint on the top a little thwack there just to bring out the uh, essence of the mint place it around the drink and this will really give an amazing pungent aroma of mint when the person is drinking. Two straws. And you want to use some sort of drainage because it's going to melt on the outside and create a bit of a puddle. So 
make sure you've got some sort of serviette. The more fancy the better, because obviously it's a bit of a fancy drink. There you have your mint julep. Enjoy it, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.